Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, and viewers across the World Wide Web. This is Tune 215, and right now we're in Birmingham, Alabama. We're gonna be doing a driving tour of the East Birmingham neighborhood. We're four minutes away from East Birmingham. The sun is setting. It gets dark at around 4.50 p.m. local time zone here in Alabama. We're three minutes away from our desired destination. If you haven't checked out our other Alabama, Birmingham tours, check them out. We're only passing through. We just passed 39th way. The weather is 65 degrees right now. We're passing 39th place. Three minutes away from our desired destination. Now we're passing 39th Street. Now we're passing 38th Alley. And now we're passing 38th Place. And now we're approaching Vanderbilt. We're two minutes away from our desired destination. We have a Shell gas station on my left hand side. We have a Circle K gas station across the street on our left hand side. Shell has regular gas for 319. Circle K has regular gas for 317. Shell has diesel for 339. Circle K has diesel for 365. So that's interesting. Diesel is cheaper at Shell, but gas is cheaper at Circle K. See, we got clear skies. You got a nice blue that fades off to an amber orange on the skyline. Green light. Looks like they got picture cameras here too. Camera picture. That sucks. That was like a like a trick light. We got a Dan Cream accident and injury lawyer advertisement on our right. Visit www.daninjurylaw.com. Dan Cream. <laughs> One of those. Got a gentleman walking over here on my left hand side on the highway, about to cross the street. So I believe we are in the perimeter for the East Birmingham area. We're two minutes away from our desired destination. We're gonna merge to our left lane. We're gonna be passing WC Patton Park on our right hand side. this right hand turn on 12th Ave. And we are now in East Birmingham. So what we are going to do is just zigzag through the neighborhood. I'm gonna make this left hand turn. We're on 12th and Escambia. That's Cambia. So we had a couple houses we just passed. We got what looks to be old reminiscences of houses on our right. It looks like the base, the foundation, but there's no houses there. There's a house on my left. We're approaching 11th Ave. I'm gonna make this right hand turn on 11th Ave. There's a gentleman mowing his lawn on my right. Make this right hand turn. This is a gentleman mowing his lawn. I'm trying to keep his lawn up to par. the edge of East Birmingham. I'm gonna make this right hand turn. We're 
returning off of 11th Ave to Cahaba Street. We got a brick building on my right hand side. That's St. Luke AME Zion Church. This is WC Patton Park in front of us. There's a sign right there I can see from here. Y'all can't see it, but I see it reads East Birmingham. There's a playground for the kids to play right over there. We got a classic car over here. Was that an Oldsmobile? with some rims. It look like a T-top. We're approaching Coosa Street. This is Coosa, C-O-O-S-A. We're at the intersection of Coosa and 12th Ave. I'm gonna make this left-hand turn on Coosa. Got a building on my right that looks to be closed. It looked like it could have possibly been like a store, a quickie mart, maybe, back in the day. I don't know. We got houses on my right. We got sidewalks here, at least. The sidewalks are lined with green grass. We got a bunch of stones on that porch on my right. They stoned it, making it with stones. That's how they designed it. Um, we passed another boarded up house. We had a two-story house on my left that we passed. I'm traveling relatively slow, guys. I'm traveling like 11 miles an hour. We got the Max 22 bus stop on my right. This is the intersection of 11th Ave and Coosa, Coosa Street. Got a house on my right, red. It looks painted a little rough. I got cars behind me, I'm sorry guys. So I sped it up a little bit to 18 miles an hour. I don't wanna hold them up. Passing Johnny's Auto Truck and Diesel Repair. We have Richard Arrington Jr. Boulevard. We got Boss Lounge in front of us. I'm gonna make this right hand turn. Got Z's Boutique on my left and a private organization. It literally says private organization. I'm gonna make this right on, what's this? Let me see if I pronounce it correctly. Appalachie Street. We're at the intersection of Appalachie and 11th Ave. The sidewalk on my right disappeared. There's no sidewalk on my right. No sidewalk on my left either. The driveway on my left. The house on my left looks abandoned. Look at it. And then the house on my right looks abandoned. Look at it. I don't know if somebody's living in there. There's another house on my right. The porch fell in. You see it? It got a recliner on the porch. It might be abandoned too. The house on my right looks like it's lived in. We got window awnings. We're at 12th and Appalachie Street. There's no stop sign there. I just stopped uh, out of habit. We got um, Steward Machine Company plant number one on my left. The plant looks like it might still be in service. We got a couple pickup trucks parked out here. An SUV. People might work there. Yeah, yep. There's a bunch of trucks and cars in that plant parking lot. So people work there. All right, we're at 13th and Appalachie. I'm going to make this left hand turn. their receiving center steward machine company receiving let's make this left hand turn there's some gigantic truck tires in the middle of the street i mean enormous probably bigger than this car that one on the far right the one that says stop the one, each each one says something no true stop pass 
they forgot the T, the TH, through, no through, the stop pass. Anyway, they tried. Uh, we got some train tracks right here. We got a, a, a huge awning carport on my right. It looks like that's where they work at. Wow, we just went to the in, in industrial section. Check it out. This industrial back here. There's some tracks right here. I'm assuming the tracks probably transported what was manufactured in these plants back in the day. Now, if you haven't witnessed the ed the educational um, addition that I added, we did a downtown walking tour in Birmingham and a downtown driving tour. If you check out the downtown driving tour, I talk about how uh, Birmingham is the only place in, wow, well, look at that gate on my left. I see someone's gate in. Um, how Birmingham is the only place in the world. In the beginning, I say the, the country. But it's actually in the world to have all the ingredients, the key ingredients to manufacture and make iron in one place within a 10 mile radius. We're at 39th Street and 11th Ave. Now what's interesting is if it's the only place to have that and then if it's dilap dilapidated like it is right now, or dilapidated, or the, yeah, I think it's dilapidated. If it's dilapidated the way it is right now, metal plate on my right, there's a business, a little warehouse. That says metal plate. Um, it's it's amazing. There's a commercial industrial tire business right here on my left. That's why all those tires are there. Maybe they use those those big tires to block that street that said no true stop pass or something. I don't know. It looks like probably could have been the same tires. Overflow heating and cooling LLC on my left hand side. Let's go through the next block. Look at that pink building on my right. It looked like it could have been a gas station because they got the awning, the pass awning, the pink top awning. You see it? it looked like it could have been two gas pumps there, but there's no pumps there. They painted it pink. I wonder what they turned it into. All right. So we're currently at the intersection of Richard Arrington Jr. Boulevard and 39th Street. Now, what's interesting is Richard Arrington goes straight through the downtown district. So I wouldn't imagine going down a couple minutes down Richard Arrington and it looking like this, you know what I mean? But then again, if you watch the downtown tour, you'll see that there wasn't much activity through downtown. It was it was, it was really like quiet. Look, at they um, did some graffiti over here. They did a burner. Let me let these cars go by and then I'm gonna point the vehicle to the house. Somebody wrote their name on the front of this house. It's a pink house. I also look like it, like it had some, some charm in its heyday. But somebody wrote their name right there. You see? And it looks like the windows are still good. Somebody might even... No, I no, I saw right through the property. Oh, there's more graffiti on the side of it. Zuka? It says Zuka and Days. D-A-Z-E and Z-U-K-A. Rima Word. This is a church on my right. We're at the intersection of 9th Ave and 39th Street. I'm gonna take it down a little further. Now hiring home instead. Warning, this area is protected by neighborhood watch. <laughs> I don't take those signs serious anymore. Got a Jaguar in that house on my right. Somebody living good. <laughs> a Jaguar SUV. Right, we have Reverend Abram Woods Jr. Boulevard. I'm gonna make this right-hand turn, turning off at 39th. That abandoned house on my right, that blue one is abandoned, it's boarded up. Go further into the block. car back there that's stripped doors missing hood missing oh man they play no games around here they stripped that thing right, let's make a right hand turn dead end on my left dead end in front of us the signs literally telling us that they were dead ends i guess that's why they brought the car back here and stripped them there's like two or three cars back there stripped on my right hand side 
lights missing, doors missing, hood missing. Ninth Ave. And I saw a huge police presence in downtown. I kept passing police. Police kept passing us. It was just police everywhere. But there was barely any activity in downtown. I'm, I'm, I'm like, wow. It's quite a police presence in the downtown area. Wow. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So I think we saw a seed here that's what i did i planted the seed and that's all i wanted to do was plant the seed show you guys that this area exists this is east birmingham and birmingham alabama we were only passing through birmingham so we got to get back to our headquarters we're stationed about 48 minutes away from here and it's about to get dark in a few minutes it's currently 4 45 p.m and the sun is down it has set the skies are looking amber, and it's going to get dark pretty soon. By the time we arrive back to headquarters, 48 minutes away from here, it's going to be dark. And I'm traveling with my wife, and we got two children in the vehicle. We got Philly and Jersey. So we're going to end the tour here. If you're new to the channel, you've never seen uh, my channel before. We're doing a 48-state cross-country tour. We're traveling to all 48 states, and we're trying to visit different towns different cities seeing what the area looks like um, by next year we would have successfully traveled across country if all goes great so subscribe consider following us checking out how our tour goes leave a comment leave a thumbs up all comments are greatly appreciated they help this channel grow if you want to see more tours feel free to browse the channel i have over 1,000 videos over 500 of those videos are Philadelphia driving and walking tours covering over 100 plus neighborhoods. Yeah, so thank you for watching. This is your homeboy Tune, Mr. Tune Dollars, Tune 215, Tune Be Chillin', Tune Ski, Tunism, Tuner, Tunage, Tune One, Bad Tune, Super Tune. Y'all know Tune Cali, Fragilist, XB Aladocious, Mr. Tune Be Chillin'. Y'all can call me Alabama Tune, and I'm tuning out.